Hey YouTube. Well, now I'm days away from my holiday open house and it has been crazy. So there has been so much going on and taken a busy schedule combined with a tiny bit of some procrastination and that's led for a pretty busy weekend. So here I am. I'm going to label some candles and chat with you guys while I do so. So let's get to it. All right, if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm the owner and operator of Roundtown Candle Co. I'm a small hand poured soy wax candle business in a little town in Ohio and I'm getting ready to have my very first holiday in my brick and mortar store. So I'm really excited about that. I have all kinds of decor items that will be available for purchase in store. I'm not listing those on my website because to be honest, I don't really want to ship all that stuff. For example, these metal trays, so cute, but I don't want it, like I am prepared to ship candles. I'm not prepared to ship large decor items, so I don't have boxes for this. I don't know anything about the weight of a lot of these items as far as what it would be for shipping and so forth and so on. So those items that I have will be available in my store only. That's just the way that it is right now. So I want to first, because I will work while I talk, but first I wanna tell you guys, and I've shown this before in a previous video, this is the label wizard that I purchased and absolutely love because you can just set your candle on there you can adjust this to move up and down and it helps you to place your label perfectly. Not really gonna go over that now because again, that was from a previous video, but what I found is super cool. So I have my new jars, these new three wick Nordic ceramic jars that I got from Candle Science. This is the blush color, which I love. And so with these, when I put them on here because they are so large and they come out, you know, they kind of come up so much, it made it really awkward when trying to do that. So what I actually do is I just set them on here more or less to keep them still. And it, so it still helps me. So even though I'm not using the guide where you actually put the label to keep it straight, it still works out fine to put the candle here, keep it from rolling around and moving on me. It keeps it centered and everything. And then I can just put my label on. So I struggled a little bit with the labels on this particular jar just because this is something that's quite different from what I've been doing. So I started out with a label that honestly, I think ended up being too big, was taking up too much of the jar. This is a super pretty jar and I did not want to cover it all up. So I ended up going to the two by three label that I got from Avery. I print my labels or design them on Canva and then I print through Avery and print them myself. So here is what the label looks like. If you can see that, which I love. And so if you notice, like, and I'll take the lid off too. So the label is not centered as far as equal amounts of jar showing on top and bottom. And the reason for that is because this jar slightly tapers at the bottom. And so when I would try to center my label, I was getting like all this wrinkly unevenness of the label at the bottom. And so I had to move it more to the top to prevent that from happening, which is good for two reasons, I think, because number one, I don't know if you guys can even see this. We'll try it. At the very, very top of this jar, there's almost like a little lip, like just a little, just a little mark, which is perfect positioning for the top of my label. Another reason why I don't think it's a big deal to do this is because I don't know about you, but I don't typically burn my labels at eye level. They're usually on a table or on a ledge or something. Well, not like a ledge where it's gonna fall, but you know, up on something. So when you have it like that and you look, it really doesn't look like the label is not centered properly. So I don't know. Maybe if you have OCD, it would be bothersome. But for me, I think it looks great and I'm really happy with it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm going to continue to label these jars because time's a ticking. So for my new scents, I only did them in these jars and in the wax melts. 
I didn't do any tea lights. I didn't do any of the smaller jars. I just honestly wanted to create one jar because it's a lot of work, as you know, to test different, you know, new scents in, in your jars. And so going in and doing all that and then pouring all of those is a lot. So I decided that for the holiday collection, I'm just going to do the three wick jar. If people don't like a three wick candle or they don't want to pay that much for a three wick candle, then they still have the option of enjoying the scent as a wax melt. So just going to leave it at that for this year and maybe next year I'll change. Maybe I won't, who knows, but that's the way it is for right now. So I feel like I am in a slight bit of panic mode because I'm now less than a week away from the holiday open house and I have a lot to do. So my sister and my daughter Ellie, they are going to come and we're gonna have a girls night on Thursday where I'm gonna close the store and we're going to decorate and I'm really looking forward to that. I think it'll be fun. And if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen my space, you know my store is not huge. It should not be a major undertaking. It's just the fact that it's my first Christmas season in the store and I really want it to look amazing. So it's probably more or less just the pressure I'm putting on myself than anything else. And I'm sure it's gonna turn out great. So we'll just have to see. So, that's where I am with all of this, and I love, love, love these three-wick jars, and I honestly think they're going to be a big hit because I've had a lot of people asking me for a three-wick jar, and you can see I'm smelling each of them before I put the labels on them because I do have multiple scents, and I have them stacked, and I have them in order, but still, I just want to make sure that I didn't, like, you know move one to the wrong position and then they get mislabeled. So so anyhow, I have peppermint mocha, cypress and bayberry, and cranberry apple marmalade as my three new scents for the holiday collection. And I love them all so very much. And my house has absolutely smelled like Christmas this week because I have been busy pouring all these candles and wax melts for, for a while now, really. And so it's been, even when we had 80 degree temperatures still, my house was smelling like Christmas trees. So, but I guess there's worse things that can smell like when it's hot outside. But what I plan to do is with this holiday open house, when I had my grand opening of my store, I did, a raffle drawing where I just bought, you can get like the rolls of raffle tickets at like Walmart or Amazon or anywhere. So I bought a roll of the raffle tickets and for my grand opening, I did a thing where for every $10 you spend, you get a raffle ticket. And then at the end of that weekend, or actually I may, maybe I ran it through the week. Then I drew and gave away several different prizes or I don't know if they're prizes or whatever you wanna call them, I guess so. Cause yeah, they won. But I gave away like candles and I gave away relax and rejuvenate gift set. I did store gift card. I did stuff like that. So it was a lot of fun. And I think people were excited to, you know, just have that chance to maybe win something good. So I'm going to do the same thing again this weekend with the holiday open house. But I'm just going to do it Saturday only. I'm not going to run it through the week. I'm just going to do Saturday only because I'm gonna be open from nine to five, so that should give people enough time to try to make it in. And then I'm just gonna give away one thing, you know, have one winner instead of having, I think the last time I had like four or five. So, but again, I did that one over the span of a week. So I guess that's the difference on that. So I'm gonna do that. And then I just have like a lot of holiday items that I've purchased. Like this is a little hand painted metal Christmas tree and I got this cute little tabletop mousse and stuff like that. So now that I have my, my brick and mortar, I've decided, you know, that I want to go a little bit more than just candles only. So I'm trying to do some different decor items. So there are a lot of places you can shop wholesale, really. And there's a wholesale place around my area. I want to say it's like, I don't know, it's like 25 minutes away or something like that. And I've shopped there before and it's nice. It's a little bit more 
on the rustic countryside, which I'm trying to be sort of decor neutral, I guess. I want to try to have something for everybody's taste. And I know that's not easy to do, but I didn't want to go full on country rustic. So I shopped there a little bit just to kind of get started with opening up with fall. And then I have not shopped there since then, but I looked around online. And for those of you who have a brick and mortar, or even if you just do, you know, if you just go and do craft shows or, you know, pop up vendor events and stuff like that, if you want to expand out beyond just having your candles, I would highly recommend finding a really good wholesale distributor because it gives you something else, you know, a chance to maybe, you know, if somebody's not exactly thinking candles, but say you have, you know, this sitting on your table and they really like it, it's gonna draw them over and then maybe they smell your candles or even vice versa. It's just kind of a good way to sort of try to upsell a little bit. Uh, maybe somebody comes to you wanting to buy candles and then they see that you've got some other stuff. And so, you know, again, kind of like gives an opportunity to have a little bit more in the way of sales. So if you do not already offer products like that, and again, even if you just set up at farmer's markets or whatever, I would still recommend it. So basically what I did is I started to go online and just started to look around at different places that offer wholesale decor. And I found some, and really all you have to do is like, it's just like doing anything else where you do tax, tax exemption, like through candle science or through, you know, any of your places where you're buying your material materials for your, your business. You just go on there and you sign up with an account and then you have to give them a copy of your sales tax information, you know, so that your exemption and once they know you're a legitimate business and all that good stuff, then they get you set up with an account and then you can see pricing. And so I set up with one and I don't remember, I've set up with a few actually. And a lot of them you don't really know until you get set up whether or not it's gonna work out for you. So there's a couple that I gave my, sent my information to and actually have an account set up. But then once I got on there, I realized that it really wasn't going to be, you know, my jam. For example, there's one company that you have to buy minimum quantities and it's like huge minimum quantities. Like you'd have to have a big store really to be able to make it worth that. So again, you know, sometimes you just don't exactly know everything until you get set up. So I've set up with a couple and just decided like, I'm not going to buy from them. But I found one that I absolutely love so much. And that's where this stuff has come from. And I, got, I have like three boxes out in my garage of holiday decor that I've purchased from this company that I have to get tagged and ready to go to the store this week. But anyways, it's CTW is the name of it. And they are out of... North Carolina, I want to say. Are they North Carolina? Why do I suddenly not remember? I think so. I think they're North Carolina. But anyways, it's CTW and they're awesome. So if you guys are interested in checking them out, I would definitely do that. It's really straightforward and easy to get set up. And oh my goodness, they have so much stuff. And they have so much stuff for like multiple styles. Like if you want to go with the more rustic, you can. If you want the modern or the boho or whatever, like they have stuff that really you can kind of mix and match. They do not have minimum quantity orders, which is nice because to be honest, sometimes I only buy just like one or two of an item. I don't exactly want a bunch of things because I don't know. I mean... I can see why you do, but at the same time, if something doesn't sell and I've got 10 of them, you know, and then you're marking down and not making any money off of them. So it's kind of, I don't know. I would rather have a bunch of different things than have like less, a lot of fewer things. You know what I mean? 
So some stuff I did buy multiples of. It's not that I didn't, but I just didn't go crazy on all that. They have sales all the time that they post on their website, which is really cool. Get stuff marked down, you know, especially like end of season or when new stuff's coming out or whatever. And the only thing is, is they're shipping, you know, like everybody else right now, shipping is quite a bit of money, but they have a deal where if you spend, I think it's like a tiered system, honestly. So if you spend between this and this, your shipping is, you know, this percentage, or if you, you know, between this and this, whatever, or once you get over a certain point, then it's just a flat I think they do a flat percentage if I'm not mistaken but anyhow so I always make sure that I buy to that level so it makes it you know a little bit more feasible with the shipping tacked on and honestly I don't think it's unreasonable shipping at all because the boxes that come are huge and pretty heavy and shipping is up like for everyone everyone's costs are up so I mean you can't really grumble about stuff like that I mean, you can, but it is just the way it is. So anyhow, but their shipping is great. Their products are awesome. I have had zero, zero things to complain about. And so a lot, a lot of what I've got, um, you know, for the store for this holiday open house is coming from them. So I'm pretty excited to see how people feel about it, see what the reaction is and how things sell. I think their prices are pretty good considering you know their products are good quality everything i've ordered so far has been really nice it's stuff i would certainly buy and so yeah we'll see i'll definitely post back with you guys do another video to let you know just kind of how that all goes so anyways okay i have to turn my direction to the other side right now and do some stuff over there so i will go ahead and cut this short and finish what i've got to do but anyhow the Label Wizard, if you don't have one, get one. They're awesome. They're so great. You can adjust this, move it up and down. It helps me with labeling my, my 8 ounce tins, my 8 ounce jars. So perfect. And even for the big jars where you can't really use the actual label feature, it's still nice for just holding them in place and helping to keep a good straight label on there. So get you one of those. Go check out some, some wholesale distributors and see, you know, because you don't have to have a brick and mortar to do that by any means. Or maybe you're set up to where you're used to shipping products online and so you're ready for it. I'm just not, I don't have all the box sizes and all the, the stuff that I need for it. But I would definitely recommend it because it gives you just another kind of step above to be able to, you know, create bigger and better sales. So anyhow, that's all I have for today. Wish me luck, you guys. The countdown is on. I got a lot to do and I'm a little bit stressed out about it. I procrastinated a tiny bit, a couple nights where I just laid around just, you know, being cozy and, and not, you know, not doing what I should have been doing. So anyways, it is what it is, but I will probably do a recording at some point or maybe during the entire process of transformation of the store from every day to holiday. So Look forward to that, and yeah, I will see you guys later. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, and we will talk soon.